Is your pump not delivering its rated capacity? One probable cause could be impeller wear due to abrasives. I'm Jeremiah Brody, and today I'll show you how to replace a worn impeller on a 16G series, one horsepower grinder pump. Grinder pumps have a very specific job, and we rely on them. Several replacement kits and parts are available for this pump, including the cutter, impeller, feet, and core. Today I'll show you how to replace a worn impeller by disassembling and reassembling a 16G series one horsepower grinder pump. To replace the impeller or inspect the pump for worn components, disassemble both the cutter and the balloon. Before disassembling the cutter, clean the pump of all debris and deposits. Scribe a mark between the seal plate and balloon. Next, lay the pump on a smooth, hard surface. Remove the stationary cutter and cutter plate by first removing the three M6 bolts and lock washers with a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. Lightly tap the stationary cutter assembly with a rubber hammer to remove from the balloon. You can also use the M6 bolts as jack screws on the cutter assembly. Remove the impeller bolt and washer with a 5mm Allen wrench or hex head socket. Be careful not to damage the rotating cutter. Use channel locks to hold the rotating cutter to keep it from spinning. Remove the rotating cutter from the motor shaft. To disassemble the balloon, remove the four M8 bolts that hold the balloon to the seal plate using a 13 millimeter socket. If needed, lightly tap the balloon with a rubber hammer to separate the balloon from the seal plate. As a secondary option, use a screwdriver to gently break the balloon free. Using two screwdrivers or a gear puller, pull the impeller off of the motor shaft. To reassemble the pump, insert the key into the motor shaft, ensuring that the rounded end of the key matches the bottom of the motor shaft keyway. Assemble the impeller onto the motor shaft until it bottoms out on the shaft shoulder. Replace the balloon, aligning the scribe marks on the seal plate. Reassemble and tighten the four M8 bolts and lock washers to 110 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket or wrench. Assemble the rotating cutter to the motor shaft. Apply Loctite 242 to the threads of the flathead bolt. Reassemble the flathead bolt and washer to the motor shaft. Be careful not to damage the rotating cutter. Use channel locks to hold the cutter to keep the shaft from rotating. Tighten the shaft bolt to 155 inch pounds using a hex head socket. Replace the stationary cutter assembly on the balloon. Tighten the three M6 bolts and lock washers in a star pattern to 110 inch pounds using a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. All right, let's review. 
Today we discuss how to disassemble and reassemble the 16G Series 1 horsepower grinder pump. We started by reviewing the cutter and volute disassembly and concluded by reassembling the pump. To learn more, visit Franklin Tech Online and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Your feedback will help us continue bringing great content. Thanks for watching.